Hey, what's up? Welcome back to 65 Drums. I missed you. Thanks for coming back. So today we're not unboxing one electronic drum thing. We're unboxing two of them. Double the fun. I'm not really going to say what these are, but then again, I don't know if I've already spoiled what they are in the title of this video. I kind of film the stuff and then I come up with sometimes the thumbnail and title later. After all that, we're going to do the giveaway for that mesh pad that I announced on the Instagram giveaway thing a couple of videos ago. This one actually came from Argentina, so I'm excited about this package right here. It's got a nice zipper on it, also like a front pocket. So very, very long USB cable. This looks like it's about like six to 10 feet long. And then inside, we have a one zone rubber pad. Now again, this is just an unboxing video. I do not claim to be an expert on this pad. From my understanding, this is made by one guy that's like a startup company. And it's a one zone pad that you plug via this USB cable into your laptop. So you'll probably be plugging this into Easy Drummer or Ableton, and you'll play one sound. Great for acoustic drummers that wanna have a clap sound, an 808 snare sound to the left side of their drum set. And you don't necessarily want internal sounds, you just want this to be like a USB uh, like MIDI device. That's what this is for. You can change the MIDI note with one of these buttons. Let me go grab some drumsticks. So it seems to have like a plastic body and then it's got a piece of foam on the back of it. I see a thread right there. All right, so it seems to work pretty well. I'm gonna have to do like a more in-depth review on this later on. This seems to be a nice pad. It's, you know, made, I think it, they're like made one at a time right now. This isn't like a, a like a Roland or an Elisa, so it's not a humongous company. But I love seeing smaller independent electronic drum companies come up with products like this because more competition is always a really good thing. This is for a very certain kind of drummer and maybe even like a keyboard player that wants to lay out a beat but they don't wanna to have to press a key to lay out all that in the MIDI track so they can do it on a pad like this. Really reminds me a lot of the bop pad. Okay, so that was the small package. Let's move ahead to this really large box. I've never accidentally cut an electronic drum pad with a knife, but it's like this little, little thing nagging in the back of my head every single time I open one of these things. All right, so as you can see, this is the Lisa's Strike Multipad. And I have never seen this kind of packing foam before. This is actually kind of cool. All right, so Elisis was very kind to send me a review unit for 90 days. So I get to try this guy out for a while and see what I think. Of course, I saw this at NAMM, I got a chance to play it. I've also gotten a chance to play this at Guitar Center. But of course, it's always a different thing to play something at a store for five minutes or whatever and actually get one in your own house and really try it out with a drum set that you're familiar with and use it for a more extended period of time. Also on the box, it says it comes with Ableton Live Lite and Pro Tools First Alesis Edition. I don't know what Alesis Edition is. I'll tell you what, I've been waiting for this for a very long time. Music stores just haven't been getting their hands on enough of these. There's like a couple of music stores that have had them, others have been struggling to get them in stock. Maybe this is just a popular pad or maybe they just can't make them fast enough. I'm not exactly sure what the issue is, but I finally got my hands on one, so I'm really happy about that. So we have the pad right here, we got the power cable, we got some screws right there, we have this box. Thankfully, it looks like they're using the exact same kind of mount that every drum module on Earth uses. So it's like this square one with four holes in it. So the interesting thing about this sample pad is the fact that there's a coating of rubber on the entire front of this module. Usually this will be like a plastic, but it's got a very nice rubber tactile feel to it. Remove before use. Oh, okay, so it looks like there's a piece of protective plastic on this. 
So I've already done a first impressions video on this. If you wanna learn a lot more details about this pad before I eventually come out with a review video, go check out that video. But right off the bat, a couple of things that I really like about this pad, the feel of these is very good. They have just the right amount of, of bounce to them, but they also feel pretty soft at the same time. Every pad has a different rubber mixture that they use. I also like the fact that there's little LED light bars right here. They can flash in time to the, like the BPM of the loop that you're using or they can act as like a loading screen. So it'll go from left to right. So you know exactly how long it's gonna go before you have to hit it again to restart the loop. Or you can just have it a different color. So you could have orange be acoustic sounds, red be electronic 808 sounds, and then blue could be, I don't know, like a synth or something. Now, apart from this YouTube channel, I also work as a stage tech at a theater. We'll have a lot of drum sets come in with some sort of sample pad to the left of the kit. Usually it's a Roland SPD-SX because that's just like an industry standard thing. Everybody uses those. But this is good competition for the Roland SPD-SX. They haven't really given it a large update in a long time. They came out with like a red version that has more memory or something. But this has a lot of interesting features that the Roland one just doesn't have. I'm not saying this is better or that it's worse. I'll have to actually play it for a long time and learn if I like it or not. But just first impressions, every time I play this, I always enjoy using it. So we have six flat pads right here and then three raised zones on top, giving you a total of nine playable zones. We have the screen and all the different buttons and dials. These are lowered a little bit. These are not on the same field as the playing zones. So when you're looking at it, it's easier to distinguish, don't hit this crap, hit this crap right here. I don't know why, but in my brain, it helps me that this is on a lower playing field. Now on the front of the pad, you'll notice that there are two headphone jacks. You got an eighth inch input and a quarter inch input. This was really handy when I was doing a really quick recording session because I could plug in my headphones right there, I could plug in my recorder right there, and life was beautiful. On the back of the pad, you have a ton of inputs. So you have MIDI in and out, so classic MIDI, and then you also have USB MIDI. And Look at that, the Alesis logo is lighting up in sync with like a metronome going on. Memory stick port right there, so you can load in samples, plug it in right there, you're good to go. You also have a ton of trigger inputs. You can plug in a ton of pads into this. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think this might be more inputs than the previous generation version of this, the Alesis Sample Pad Pro, which was not a very good multi-pad at all, to be honest. This is such a big improvement, it's actually kind of nuts. In addition to all those inputs, you can also plug in two separate foot switches. You also have recorder inputs. So you can record samples. You could literally sample your acoustic snare and you have a like a recorder knob right here so you can turn up the gain or down the gain of the mic. You can sample in whatever sounds that you want in real time, it's pretty awesome. Now of course there's also gonna be the question of durability. How long will this hold up if you tour with it for like, you know, two, three, four, five years straight? The rolling pads are pretty tough, but even they, they break eventually. The last band we had at my theater, the Roland SPD-SX pad, I think it was like this pad right here was broke and he was actually gonna replace it with an alternate mode, like a jam cat pad or something. Nothing lasts forever. We'll have to see how well this holds up and you won't really know that until like a year or two down the line. How long will these last? I haven't heard of many reports of this breaking. That's pretty encouraging. There's one last thing we need to unbox before the giveaway at the end. And that is this guy right here. I'm Future Justin. I decided to add this into the video because this package came a little bit later than the other two. So this is actually a mount for this pad right here. So this is called the Alesis Multi-Clamp. I don't know if you can read that very well, but this is specifically made for electronic drum modules. This is actually pretty sweet. So it looks like you need to loosen this, it swings out, you put this little ball joint right there, Probably wanna make sure the washer is on the outside, there we go. And then this will clamp onto either like your hi-hat stand or maybe a cymbal stand. I probably will be attaching this to one of my cymbal stands. And if you remember from a minute ago, the screws for this plate actually came with the multi-pad itself. So those are these right here. All you gotta do is flip this over. I should probably turn this off first. Uh, rolling drumsticks is one of those where you have to hold down the power button first. It's got the Alesis logo on it.
So this is really darn convenient. I can position this pretty much anywhere that I need it to. And then I also have this other way to adjust it as well. I didn't really know that this product was even a thing in the Alesis catalog. How much does the Alesis multi-pad clamp cost? I found these results. Looks like it costs about 80 bucks from Sweetwater.com or any other major website like that. You could just buy the plate itself by itself and that would be like $17 or you can buy it with the arm and that brings it up to about $80. So you decide whether or not that extra cost is worth it for you. It's pretty darn convenient to have this though, make it easier for me to attach this to whatever stand I want to attach it to. Okay, so now it's time to announce the giveaway. If you remember, the whole rules of the contest was that you had to go to my 65 Drums Instagram page and then comment on the latest post with the hashtag 65 Drums Giveaway. And quite a few of you actually did comment on that. So I'm just gonna choose someone from the list of uh, hashtags here. Okay, so the winner for this amazing pad is Jace12 2004. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching all that time. I really appreciate it. Go check out your messages on Instagram because you gotta tell me where you want me to mail this to. Now the next thing I gotta do is combine this Pearl Mimic with the TD50. I wanna see if I can like listen to some of the kick sounds and snare sounds side by side and stuff because eventually I'll actually be doing a versus video. So gotta fix all that up. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and click subscribe and like button if you haven't already. See you in a few.